One of the questions I get asked the most is how I got into watch design. The way I'd answer that is art and design has always been a natural ability of mine. Um, and it wasn't until I got my first job as a watch designer, that's when my eyes kind of opened up into, into how watches uh, can be a designed object. Oftentimes, before I even know what the watch is going to be, I just like sketching for the sake of sketching. It allows me to just kind of get my thoughts out. It's a little therapeutic. During my first stint at the Movado Group, I had the fortunate opportunity to study watch design at, um, in Switzerland, uh, in the little city of La Chaudefin. I worked with more senior level designers who taught me about the history of designing watches. And from then on, that's when I knew that I was in the right field. At some point, sketches have to turn into CAD work and start putting measurements and uh, line work in place to start taking a sketch into an actual realistic form. With this one, uh, we wanted to go into a shaped case. So you see here the box is right at 40 uh, for this specific GMT. That's the size that we feel like is the sweet spot. One important thing that's often overlooked is when it comes to watch design, you have to even consider something as small as a crystal seat, which sits inside of the dial opening. It's almost like you kind of work your, your way in from the outside. I typically like to work in black and white first uh, before going into any sort of color. And looking at it very objectively and understanding the form is just the way I need it before we even start thinking about color study. These are the kinds of decisions uh, that have to be made. It seems like it's very small, but ultimately these all lead up to the final product. Being able to have the opportunity to talk about every little detail and decision making that goes into just one watch or even one component of a watch is something that we want to be able to share uh, and um, bring our viewers along with us during the development of this new and exciting watch that's coming up. Jack Mason as a brand is moving in a direction uh, where we're going to show even more transparency, uh, getting, giving our viewers and customers a more in-depth look at how the product is made and in turn uh, keeps us on our toes to make sure we're always delivering on the most premium level uh, product that an enthusiast can enjoy.